You know what they say about March? In like a lion, out like a lamb. Well, that old weather proverb is certainly coming through this month with a roaring jet stream bringing frequent areas of low pressure our way. And that will continue over the next 10 days. Bouts of wind and rain. And forget about the warmth of last week. It will be colder at times. Uh, tonight we've got Storm Freya moving through and that means we're going to be seeing strong winds and some heavy rainfall. Now we've got a yellow weather warning out for this. If you're in that weather warning area we could see 55 perhaps even 65 miles an hour quite widely and in some locations even up to 80 miles an hour. So do take care if you're out and about. It will make for a colder feel before the next batch of wet and increasingly windy weather. We're talking severe gales around parts of the southwest, and that yellow wind warning is for gusts of 45 to 55 miles per hour in land across many southern areas, and even in those coastal areas up to 65 miles per hour. So take care. More wet and windy weather to come. But uh, the winds are the key feature. Three yellow weather warnings in force for wind, snow and ice. So do take care if you're out and about first thing. More wind and rain knocking on the door. It is going to not feel that warm. We're talking gusts of 45 to 55 miles per hour in land in the south. In and around the southwest coast, we could also see gusts of up to 65 miles per hour. Elsewhere, still a pretty blustery day. Yeah, temperatures are fairly academic given all the wind and rain. And then more areas of low pressure lined up to come in. And these areas of low pressure will simply bring a windy weekend with areas of rain. It's set to be a rather windy weekend. Rain, sleet and snow on the cards for some of us and there's several yellow warnings in force. Feeling pretty cold though because it's going to be pretty windy. Likely to be some severe gales but there could well be gales just about anywhere and uh, this area of low pressure is likely to be picked up by the jet stream but exactly how it interacts with the jet stream will make a big difference in terms of its path and its depth almost as if you were blowing on a spinning top and so it looks likely that it will spin up and it will be sent towards the British Isles but exactly where it will end up is open to doubt at the moment. The Met Office has issued a warning for that heavy rain overnight up to 60 millimetres over the high ground of Wales as well as the West Country and again, it's going to be pretty windy. Severe gales likely in the southwest, but otherwise pretty windy for much of the UK. It will also turn colder at the end of the weekend. You can see the jet stream then diving to the south of the UK. Colder colours then arriving across the country. And like I say, the jet stream remains a key player. Through next week, it's still there. Out in the Atlantic, still spawning those areas of low pressure and sending them our way. After. There'll be rain, there'll be showers, there'll be brighter spells, and there'll also be some colder interludes. Typical early March weather, in like a lion. I guess we'll have to wait and see if we go out like a lamb. Bye-bye.